hi guys welcome you again to another interesting news it has just been reported that islamic group members the Shiites, attend christmas service in kaduna and also presented gifts to church and they preach unity wow this is actually interesting nigeria is a fucking cruise nigeria is a cruise and you agree with me that nigeria is a cruise actually this is funny but sometimes we just have to take it very very serious because it's actually a critical issue now it has just been said that the islamic people the islamic group came to the church celebrate christmas in the church gave gifts preach unity despite the current insecurity that is happening in nigeria these people preached unity well who would like you to like share comment as you enjoy the full details of the news on this present situation the islamic movement in nigeria the imn popularly known as the shades have acknowledged christmas as a day for festivity friendliness and unity the movement disclosed this on monday when it joined christians at a christmas service at the saint joseph catholic church samaru zaria cardinal state the group leader professor isa hassan described the development as a move to strengthen religious harmony and unity between religious groups he added that joining christian faithful to mark christmas was meant to renew hope for unity among Muslims, Christians, and other religions. He explained that their decision to attend the church service was to strengthen the relationship between the two faith groups while affirming that Islam and Christianity were, you know, were reverend uh, faith with more than 90% of Nigerians' population as adherents. He said, when other faithful unite with the two faith groups, it, it means the whole of Nigeria is united. As a group, it started visits to church more than 25 years ago and since then, there had been improved understanding between the group and Christians. The visit has reduced the fear and some animosity between the two faith groups they that is the christians are now open to us we share sentiments and problems together the regular exchange of visits has bridged the gaps between us the parish priest most reverend isaac augustine had earlier commended the islamic group for the visit and urged the people for more visits to strengthen religious harmony and unity he prayed that god's peace and to salvage he prayed for god's god's peace pardon and to salvage the country from the myriad socio-economic challenges meanwhile the group also presented gifts to the church what is your take to this the group presented gifts to the church so they did not just come to visit they did not just come to greet they also came and they gave gifts what is your take to this? Who would like you to share it with us via the comment section? As we all know, it's a season of love. It's a time of holiday. It's a time to enjoy, time to spread love, time to extend our love to all our loved ones, time to enjoy ourselves to the fullest once in a year's time celebration. And now the Islamic group members are also attending church services in the northern Nigeria just to celebrate you know preach peace give give a uh, gift to church what is your take to this the islamic movement of nigeria the imn have just shocked the world and we are not even sure if this motive is clean because this same northern uh, northerners has reportedly been attacking different churches different christian gatherings you know bombing and shooting sporadically you know killing christians you know over blackmailing and a lot of things and now these same people are coming to church claiming you know this time is for 
you know, festivity. This time is for uh, friendliness. This time is for unity. Saying they acknowledge that Christmas is a day for friendliness, love, unity, uh, festivity, and everything like that. And now the same people are still the one, you know, that will kill people just for blackmailing, burning of innocent souls, for blackmailing, for a lot of little things. Do you think this could actually be a, a new resolution? We would like you to let us know your own take on what has been said, like to share it up with us via the comment section. But before we go, let's see what people have in mind concerning this. Philip Moses reacted to this and said, Religious tolerance should be applauded and emulated, not criticized. He said, Religious tolerance should be applauded and emulated, not criticized. What is your take to this? We should emulate religious tolerance. We should not, uh, you know, criticize religious tolerance. That is what Moses Philip have said. We also have Levinius, Agim, who have also reacted and said, We Africans kill ourselves because of religion. But God did not have religion. God is love. And the reaction from Levinius saying that, you know, we Africans, we kill ourselves because of religion, just like what I've said earlier that this same Islamic group, we also, you know, kill people because of blackmailing. If you say anything contrary to their imam, you see them attacking you, doing all sorts of things, you know, accusing you of blackmailing. And before you know, you have been burnt to death. Now, we Africans kill ourselves because of religion. But God himself doesn't have a religion. God is love. That is what has been said. What is your own reaction to this? We would like to share it with us via the comment section. A lot of people are reacting. Humanity is different from religion. Let's be one, please. And that reaction from Joseph Clement saying that, Let's be one. Humanity is different from religion. But please, let us be one. Unity is strength. We want peace. All we want is peace in our country. God bless Nigeria. That is what people are praying for. Different reactions from different individuals. Different thoughts from different persons. Everybody says we want peace. But do you think there could probably be peace in the southeastern part of Nigeria? If Mazanam Dekano is still in detention? Do you think there could be peace in parts or, or probably in... You know the whole of south eastern part of this country if Mazen Amdekano is still being in detention of course that is another gist for another day to continue to you know stream everyday affairs to continue to like share and comment as i'll be coming with interesting news for you guys thank you guys for listening do subscribe to this channel if you have not and i'll see